Hello everyone. Uh, in this lesson, we are going to talk about what happens to energy during a chemical reaction. Uh, change in energy uh, are part of chemical reaction. Uh, some uh, chemical reaction they release uh, energy, but uh, some chemical reaction uh, they uh, absorb uh, energy. Depending on this, uh, scientists divided uh, this uh, reactions into two types. Uh, the first type uh, is called endothermic reaction uh, because uh, they uh, absorb energy and if you look at the temperature before and after uh, you will uh, see the um, the rea uh, the uh, the temperature it will decrease uh, but uh, if you uh, the second type of uh, chemical uh, reaction uh, it's called uh, exothermic uh, reaction because they release energy you can feel this by uh, uh, touching the uh, by touch the beaker of the product you will uh, find it it's uh, warmer uh, warmer or it has higher temperature uh, than uh, before the uh, reaction uh, to understand the difference between these uh, two types and uh, to look at uh, more uh, and to uh, find uh, examples of uh, these exothermic and endothermic uh, reaction uh, listen to this uh, video and to these uh, information to these uh, examples energy plays a role in all chemical reactions all chemical reactions follow the law of conservation of energy, which states that energy cannot be created or destroyed, although it can be changed from one form to another. Chemical reactions can be sorted into two groups based on how energy changes. Click the images to learn more. Exothermic reactions are chemical reactions that release energy. The exothermic reaction you're probably most familiar with is the burning of fuel. In the case of a campfire, the chemical energy of the wood is released in the form of heat and light. Endothermic reactions are chemical reactions that absorb energy. One of the most important endothermic reactions on Earth is photosynthesis. Photosynthesis is the process by which plants use light energy to make the sugar glucose. Plants take in the light energy, which is stored as chemical energy, in the glucose molecules. Have you ever heard of hard water? Hard water has a high concentration of dissolved minerals. People often soften the water used in their homes, which means they use chemical reactions to remove the minerals. A water softener tank may feel cool to the touch because these chemical reactions are endothermic reactions. What happens when someone gets hurt while playing sports? Often the injury is treated with a chemical cold pack. The chemical reaction in the cold pack is an endothermic reaction. This is why the temperature of the cold pack decreases while the reaction takes place. A chemical reaction in glow sticks releases light energy. In glow sticks, chemical energy is changed to light energy. When people spend a lot of time outside on a cold day, they may use chemical hand warmers. Many of these small packets contain chemicals that release heat energy when they react with air, keeping hands warm. The chemical energy of the hand warmers is changed to heat energy. So from these uh, examples, uh, we can uh, differentiate between uh, uh, exothermic and endothermic uh, reaction. Uh, also, you have to put in your mind, uh, the energy is always conserved, which means uh, there is a law, it's called uh, the law of conservation uh, of energy, uh, which states uh, that energy cannot be created or uh, destroyed. However, energy can change a uh, form, okay? It can ch change from form to another or uh, to another. Uh, so the total amount of all of types of energy is the same before and after uh, every chemical uh, reaction. 
to understand more the law of conservation of energy look at this example here you have a, a molecule methane methane it has a carbon uh, this carbon is connected with four hydrogen atoms okay which is uh, the molecule is a CH4 methane when it reacts with oxygen O2 okay uh, with oxygen uh, it will burn okay when it reacts with oxygen this reaction produces carbon dioxide here as you see you have here carbon dioxide also water water molecule it uh, this reaction methane oxygen uh, it will produce a carbon dioxide and a water uh, molecule the reaction of methane and oxygen is exothermic reaction so this reaction is an example of exothermic uh, reaction uh, burning uh, methane releases it releases energy as heat and light so when a uh, methane is a uh, burn uh, that means it will uh, produce a heat and a uh, light okay into the surrounding this energy was first stored in the chemical bond and if you look at the chemical bond between a uh, carbon and hydrogen uh, this uh, the bond between them is store energy chemical potential energy is stored between hydrogen atoms and the carbon this energy after the reaction with oxygen it will be released as heat and as uh, as a uh, light um, as uh, a light to the uh, surrounding uh, the energy that was stored now uh, in the bonds of the uh, reactants is equal to the energy released plus the energy stored in the bonds on uh, of the product and if you take the total now of the energy that released and the uh, energy uh, stored between the bro uh, the pro uh, the bonds in the product uh, the you will find the total amount is the same in the reactant and in uh, the product uh, now for uh, you have uh, to look at a uh, question 14 in your book page uh, 219 uh, and uh, you have to compare between endothermic reaction and exothermic reaction to quiz yourself and you uh, have to write what do they have uh, in common um, thank you for listening